Hello, welcome to the comparison projection tutorial. My name is Bob McKinnon. I'm a developer on the Spectrum project and I will be hosting this section. Let's get started. Let's create two comparison projections in Spectrum. The purpose is to examine the results of alternative fertility. Okay, what I'm going to do is launch Spectrum and I'm going to create a base uh, projection based on Ghana. I'm going to call this projection Ghana Base. And I'm going to set my start year at 2008 and my final year at 2020. I'm going to have Demproj selected and I'm going to pick Ghana. And select OK. Now that I have my base projection created, I'm going to move into Demproj. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the fertility constant. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the row here. I'm going to select duplicate. Say OK. And I'm going to take a quick look at the results and see if my TFR is holding steady. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is save that projection. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to select Open. And I'm going to open that same projection that I just saved. Now when I do that, Spectrum recognizes that that projection has already been loaded. And it gives me the option to load and rename this file. So I'm going to select Load and Rename. And this time I'm going to call this Ghana Low for Low Fertility. I'm going to save. And now we have two projections loaded. We can look down here in the status bar. We see Ghana Base, our original, and Ghana Low. The star here is indicating that the Ghana Low is the current projection when you move into the input editors. And if I move up here under Modules, you'll notice that there's a icon here to set the active projection, and it's currently set on low. If I wanted to make changes to the Ghana base, I would select the base here, and you'll notice that the star has moved over to Ghana base. But what I'd like to do is move back to Ghana low, and then move into the demographic data, and adjust the TFR. So let's say we're going to bring this down to replacement fertility. 2.1 in the year 2020. I'm going to select the whole row and pick interpolate and that will give me a linear interpolation from 2008 to 2020 bringing the TFR down and I will say OK and now let's go take a look at the results um, and we'll start with the total fertility rate and we'll, say, we'll display it as a line chart you notice we have two lines. Here's our Ghana base, which is showing our fertility where we held constant, and our uh, new projection, Ghana low, showing the fertility um, dropping to 2020 uh, down to 2.1. So now let's see what that did to the population. So we'll look at total population, select line chart, and we can see that the population is dropping off in Ghana low as expected. And let's take a look at births and see if we see the same pattern. And we can see the births dropping off um, with the lower fertility as well. So in this case, we altered TFR to create our comparison scenario. But we could have chosen any of the demographic inputs. For example, life expectancy or international migration. Now let's say we wanted to create a third comparison projection. How would we do that? Okay, so we're going to close the editor. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to save out that Ghana low projection so that that's saved to the hard drive. So I'm going to select Ghana low, click on OK, and now that's saved. And now what I could do is I could reopen Ghana low and use the rename feature that we did the first time around. Or alternatively, we could use the save projection as. 
So what I'm going to do is pick save projection as, and I'm going to select Ghana Low, say OK, and that's going to prompt me for a file name, and I'm going to change this to Ghana Medium, and say OK, and what that will do is create a copy of the Ghana Low onto my hard drive, and title this um, the name of this projection Ghana Medium. Now what I'm going to need to do is reopen the Ghana Low. Select Open, select Ghana Low, and you'll notice that Ghana Low has loaded. And since the last projection loaded, it becomes the active projection. And now I'm going to move up to Modules, and what we want to do is edit the Ghana Medium file to adjust the TFR. So I'm going to set Active to meet Ghana Medium, and you'll notice now that this star has moved to Ghana Medium. Also, Ghana Medium appears up here in the title bar as well, indicating the currently active projection. And now I'm going to select Demographic Data, move to the total fertility rate, and you can see that since this was based on Ghana Low, it does have the uh, linear interpolation moving down to 2.1 in the last year. And I'm going to change that to 3, so it's not so much of a steep decline. And we'll interpolate again. Select OK. And now take a look at the TFR output. Hopefully we'll get three bars, three lines, and we do. So we have our constant fertility, our new Ghana medium, and our Ghana low. Okay, and we can also take a look at the total population. You can see the same pattern here. And to be complete, we can take a look at births, as we did it the first time. And you can see the medium projection is right in the middle of the two. Hopefully this video demonstrated how simple it is to make comparison projections in Spectrum. Thank you.